Hey guys, so today's look is going to be on the Violet Boss, um, what do you call Concilio, Con uh, Concilio uh, palette. I forgot to film a live introduction to this video with the um, makeup on, so to know how to get this look, keep watching. Alright guys, so the first color that I'm going to use, it's called Daisy. It's this nice, beautiful matte, creamy. I want to say it's like a uh, like an orange type of sherbet color, and I'm going to use that as a highlighter. So the next color that I am going to apply, it's called, I did, bra, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but that's how it's spelled, it's B-R-U-H, and it's this one right here, although it doesn't really show up on me, but that's the way I did it, so I'm going to follow the same pattern. Alright, and then the next color that I am going to put on, it's right underneath that as well. It is called... I don't remember if it was pizza or blau. This one right here, it's called pizza. And that's what I'm going to use as my tr um, transitional color. Alright, so the next color, it's called Penji. Now this one is frosted, and it's um like a, a frosted royal blue color. It's a dark color. So that one is not matte. And I am going to start off with a crease brush, a rounded crease brush, like so. And I'm going to begin from the outer corner and then bring it all the way in. And then over that blue, I went in with retrograde, which is just your basic black matte. You know, don't worry about the outer corner. 
You can always fix that up with a wipey. Just want to darken it a little bit. And then the black like right above the crease. But I'm going to first cut the crease. And I'm going to do that with... I did, oh, my concealer. Alright, y'all gonna see how it's gonna look, come out looking. You're gonna see. The next one is called Palm Tree. Now, this is a, another, like, a dual chrome color, actually. Now, I was applying it, it was dark. But what I did was I wet my brush with my setting spray and voila so this color is like a greenish brownish let me do a swatch of it can you guys see that it is like so freaking pretty it's like a goldish like a green gold and brown yeah that's what it is so I am going to use my e.l.f. Matte Magic Setting Spray and spray my brush and just start off little by little. All right, so I'm going to let this dry so that I can, um, you know, fix it. All right, so now I am going to clean up here, put my um, liquid eyeliner, my lashes, and then I'll be right back with my full face and my thought on this... Um, Nicole Concilio palette. Hey guys, so this is the finished look. And this um, lipstick that I'm wearing is um, metallic tint. It's from Kaylin Cosmetics. The color is one. And um, as far as blush and highlighter go, I'm wearing blush from the Saharan Blush in Volume 2 in B. It's a beautiful matte, dusty rose kind of color. And for highlighter, um, I'm actually wearing it from Huda Palette, the Summer Highlighter Palette. And I, I'm actually wearing my Konos, which is this one, it's like a, a violet. And then the one on top, Malibu, which is a gold. Yeah, it's gold, like a peach gold. Okay, so my two cents on the Violet Boss um, collaboration with Nicole Concilio. All right, so here you go. So it's 20 eyeshadows, I had to count them. And um, I love the fact that it comes with a mirror. The Jaclyn Hill palette, it's huge and it does not have a mirror. I hate palettes with no mirrors. Even though sometimes I may not even look at the mirror in the palette, I'll just use this, mostly because of the magnified side. But nonetheless, there's nothing more convenient than you grabbing a palette and you're not having to actually worry about whether you have a mirror or not. But anyway, so one disappointment is that the only shade that they have that you can use as the highlighter is this one. So what's the disappointment you might say? Number one, it's frosted. And number two, um, 
I first applied it, I was gonna use that as the highlighter and then I had to take everything off because you see, it's got, it's like dual chrome. It's actually got lavender hues in it. Let me see my hand, I've got foundation on it a little bit. So there you go. And I use that color Daisy as a highlighter, but you see, it's not really a highlighter color but the thing is, is that depending on your skin tone, it's going to depend if it's a highlighter or not. And the other thing is, I feel that the only reason that it actually applied and looked like as a highlighter color is simply because um, the primer that I had on. So that's why. And I had a lot of it. I had primer and concealer. Yeah, that's what happened. Um, other than that, this actually reminds me of the Jaclyn Hill palette. Like, the colors are almost the same, just smaller version. The price difference, um, yeah, beautiful colors. I love the way all the colors are put together. I love the fact that um, there were no fallouts. It wasn't chalky, the matte colors. I like also the fact that you've got an equal good amount of matte in shimmers. A lot of times, I think the majority of palettes that I've seen or even own, a lot of times you get a bunch of frosted colors, one or two mattes. So I appreciate that as well. The colors are very easily to blend. They're, they are well pigmented, not overly pigmented, but well pigmented. So um, I haven't swatched all of the colors, but um, I give it a thumbs up. It is definitely Liz approved. Um, yeah, it's Liz approved. And I really, really enjoyed this palette. I just feel that it's um it's kind of limited i don't know it, and like all the colors like basically look the same you know you had they they threw these two dark ones but this one i mean they threw these two dark ones this one i don't know about it i don't know i don't know but then everything else just like looks the same so that that, that was another disappointment Meant. I mean, if you are new to makeup and you are slowly building up your collection and you don't have a lot of stuff, then sure, go for it. Why not? If you have a lot of makeup um, and you want to save your money, it's not all that, like I said, because all of the colors look the same. I'm pretty sure those other makeup pores out there, you have plenty of palettes with these colors or even singles. And you can buy these colors in singles as well, either from Morphe, Coastal Sands, you know, I, BH Cosmetics, um, Makeup Geek. Those are um, cosmetic companies that sell single eyeshadows at reasonable amounts. And they actually have the same color payoff of equal or better value of this um, Nicole Concilio um, palette. But... That it's a bad choice? Nah, it's not. Simply because it works. And it doesn't give you a hard time upon application. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this um, tutorial on this look and also my review. Don't forget to rate and subscribe. Let me know what else you would like for me to bring into the YouTube makeup um, community. And I have so many videos up there already I need to upload. I'm like so behind on things that I want to um, review. I have so much shit here. I'm just behind. You know, next review I want to do in look is going to be on all of the Juvia's um, palettes. I have them all, and I just love them. I can't wait to have fun with them. Also, I'm thinking of actually going back black. I'm going to change my hair color. After about what three, four years of me dyeing my hair, my hair in all kinds of crazy colors, yes, guys. All right then. Well, I gotta go. It's already eight o'clock, and um, yeah, don't forget to rate, subscribe, and 
never be scared to unleash the makeup pour inside of you. Ciao, guys.